come from a very large Philadelphia soccer family, so I grew up playing soccer, uh, started at four years old, um, and from then on I moved up and started with the academy at around 13 um, and worked my way up to the first team. I'd say I really decided to pursue soccer is when I quit baseball when I was around 13 years old and truly started to dedicate my, my sports life to to soccer uh, with the Philadelphia Union Academy. I couldn't say one person had a had an impact. I can say that my family as a whole, um, immediate and extended, has all played a very significant role in uh, getting me to this point and where I am today. It's very simple and cliche, but the best piece of advice that I've ever received is to uh, work hard and don't let anyone tell you you can't. Uh, prior to the game, I'll eat a chicken parm entree. Um, that's my only pregame ritual. Um, besides that, playing some tech ball uh, for the home games is, is always a good one. Left there, Sullivan fires goal! Six for the Union. I think the most memorable moment uh, in my Philadelphia Union career would be my first start against the Chicago Fire. Uh, 3-3 game away at Chicago, and I scored my first professional goal with a, a bicycle kick, so that was definitely my most memorable moment. To relax and, and you know take my mind off everything, I'll, I uh, do my schoolwork um, in college at the University of Pennsylvania, so that takes up quite a bit of time. I like to go to the beach a lot as a hobby, so I'd say skimboarding is, is one of my, my biggest hobbies. The city's amazing. I mean, what's there not to love? You know, great fans, great people. It's, I love every part of it. I wouldn't say there's one teammate that I hang out with the most, but I like to. We also like to go out golfing. So me and Brandon Craig go out golfing. Jack McGlynn. Um, and if it's not going out and doing anything, I'll go to uh, Jack McGlynn, Nate, and Matt Real's places and hang out with them. <laughs>